Ready to spend the day with us in Hollywood Studios? Oh yeah. <laughs> Join us today on This Happy Place. Hi, Hi friends. friends. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, February 2nd, and we are heading to Hollywood Studios. I think today is going to be a really good <laughs> test of Genie Plus. We already have a Lightning Lane booked for Rise, Rise of the Resistance. Yeah. I got that for like 11. Um, it was $15 a person, but they went really quickly. They're all gone already. Yeah, that's expected. Yeah. yeah. And then we also booked our Genie Plus for Rock and Roller Coaster this morning because we haven't ridden it in years and years and years. So we're going to start the morning off with a bang. We're going to hopefully rope drop. We're going to head there shortly, probably take an Uber and go right to Tower of Terror. Because nothing wakes you up more than your stomach hitting your jaw. <laughs> yeah, we. Um, I think I had the Disney sleepies yesterday, and Jake is dealing with the Disney sleepies today. So this should be really interesting because my energy is soaring. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Where we invite you to dream, wonder, and imagine. Step with us now into this amazing world and create your own exciting story. From a galaxy far, far away to infinity and beyond, where dreams come true. Welcome to Disney's Hollywood Studios. All right, update. Tower of Terror is not up and running yet. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is not up and running yet. So we're gonna go do Rock and Roller Coaster because that's pretty much the only thing that has a decent wait time this early in the morning. Yeah. All right, here we go. We rocked on. Whew. Tower Tower is still not open. Still closed. So we walked into Toy Story Land. Set up for you to take a spin around the galaxy. Here's hoping the claw chooses you. Now we're gonna potentially stand in line for 40 minutes to play Toy Story Mania. Hopefully that's an inflated like wait time. That's what we're hoping. Yeah, we'll see. Also, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick your butt. Probably. Well, Jake absolutely killed me in that game, but we did some special things that you'll have to look up the secrets to sometime because that was really cool. Oh yeah, yeah. But also we only waited 20 minutes with a 40 minute posted time. So gotta take those wait times with a grain of salt is what I'm coming to learn. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Enjoy your day. Hello. 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 Got me a blue milk. It's not. It looks thick. But it's not. Let me try. <laughs> it's so thick. It's not. Okay. It's thinner than a smoothie. 
thicker than milk. milk. Tastes good though. It's more fruit punchy than I remember. We got it with alcohol the last time we got it, oh, so. Yes. <clears throat> right. I like it. I mean, it's not worth nine dollars, but I also haven't had any liquid yet today, so it's like, well, if we're in space, my liquid will be blue milk. As expected, very busy here, but we have a good attitude about it. We're gonna get some pictures. We're gonna look for a bucket hat for Jake because he's gonna be a bucket hat guy. So important. And we're gonna play it by ear. Just, just do a mosey. I mean, we kind of have a plan, right? Like we're gonna do this for 45 minutes and then we're gonna <laughs> go, go to Rise of the Resistance. Yeah, do the things that we have planned for the day. Yeah. Resisting the first order sure works up an appetite. So we stopped off at Docking Bay 7 to get ourselves some lunch. I got the Felucian Captain and Hummus Garden Spread. It is plant-based meatballs. We got some hummus in there with just some non-bread pita type stuff and uh, a little like cucumber tomato salad with some dressing on it. I'm sure it's gonna be great. Mm-hmm. Hummus tastes like hummus, but it's a little bit more like herb. And the plant-based meatballs seem to have a pretty good texture well, on the they inside. Quinoa. Yeah, they definitely do. They definitely have some quinoa, onion, mushrooms. Good. Smell too well. It was a really good. Um, really good flavor and a little bit spiced. A bit like, not spicy, but kind of like those Christmas spices. Make it really unique. And the tomato cucumber salad is tomato cucumber salad. It's fine. To drink, I got the Taco Donna Quencher. I don't know if I've ever had this before. I feel like I haven't. Um, this is Bacardi Dragonberry Rum Blue Carousel. I've had a lot of Blue Carousel this trip. Simply Orange and Pineapple with Kiwi. Let's give this a... That's, that's really nice. You get that like... Pineapple is the first flavor. I think that the rum is subtle but mixes with the fruit flavors really well. I like it. I got the Pika Tuna Poke. So this is a new-ish item. It's definitely new since the last time I've eaten here. 
and it is raw tuna tossed in a spicy sriracha dressing served with green papaya salad, pickled mushrooms, fresh herbs, and crispy garlic. It looks really yummy, so let's do, do a little bit of it all. Do some of the salad, maybe a piece of lettuce. This is gonna be real sexy. That's really, really nice. Let me try the tuna on its own, see how spicy it is. Ooh, okay, it has a nice sriracha like kick. I don't think it's too spicy. Definitely the food spice road table last night was much spicier than this. But it's nice if you like a little bit of flavor, some spice flavor, it tastes good. It's mostly this slaw. We Melville ordered this at 11.30ish, right, you know, close to lunchtime. And we waited maybe like five minutes to go in, get our food. It was quick and easy, so definitely remember to do the mobile ordering. It seems to be more efficient now than it was when I was here a year ago. So, it's good. Let's, uh, let's, you know, really fuel up for our next adventure. Boy, you dug for that one, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stomachs firmly lodged in our throats. We are going to see this new and reimagined no. COVID safe version of Beauty and the Beast. We sat ourselves right now, we'll probably have people around us, but as of right now, all alone in the back bleachers because. I didn't want to mess with that mess. We can escape easily if yeah, necessary. Because. I've heard this is interesting. So, let's see how interesting this is. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. It holds come, it's a quiet village. Bonjour! 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 There goes the baker with his tray, like always. I said, quiet! If we're going to do this, then let's do it. But of course, we must make her feel welcome. Pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Yeah, no. I think I'll do theater again in 2026 when COVID's finally over. I agree. That was... Not for us. Not exciting. And I feel bad for them because, like, they... Yeah. You know, Hold they want to be... We have to follow the rope. Hold on. <laughs> you know, they want to be up there, like, doing the things they usually do, but can't. Yeah. Right Makes it boring. Makes it kind of sad. Yeah. So, we're going to go get a drink. You can find these in like several locations all over Hollywood Studios, but I got it at the Oasis Canteen because I just sort of always seem to go there. I don't really know why. That's, we found that the last time we were here, it's a really good spot. It's a full service bar with some fun cocktails too, if you don't know what you want. So this is Old Smoky Apple Pie Moonshine, Amaretto, Flurnum, pineapple juice and club soda and it's supposed to be served with a glow cube but they must be out so I got a jingle bell instead that lights up 
Those supply chain issues are really something, huh? They're really something. But that's kind of cute. I can throw that in with our Christmas stuff. Maybe, like, put a bow on it. It could be a Christmas decoration, but let's try this. Yeah, put it in those cans right over there. I know. It's really nice. It's It tastes like a fall drink to me because of that apple pie um, moonshine. But mixed with the pineapple, it's good. I think stronger maybe than it's it's not pre-mixed, I don't think. I think she made it, so um, stronger than some of the cocktails I've had. But it's not it's really nice. Nice and cool, refreshing. I like it. There's a parade behind us right now. Not a parade of Buzz and Woody and the drummers and the Rihanna guys and the who's her face. We have a late night tonight, so we are going to go get some rest. But that'll be in the next video. So you are going to want to make sure you are subscribed to not miss that. Click the bell icon to get a notification. Comment down below how you thought our Hollywood Studios Day was. Give us a thumbs up. And until next time, stay, stay magical. magical. Power of Terror isn't up and running yet, and Mickey and Minnie's running right away. Right I have a really hard time saying Just that, so. Over. That's where the entrance to the Star Cruiser resort thing experience. It'll be open by the time this video goes out, so you'll have watched all of the vlogs about it already. We're not doing it. We're, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not doing it. <laughs> we're not doing it. I, I love you so much more in the bucket hat. <laughs> to drink, I got the taco, ta to drink, I got the taco.